Hey friends, this is a list of 12 things that you might want to consider to have in your ready to go survival kit. Let's start out with number one. You're gonna need clean drinking water. So a water filter is essential. You got these pump ones, which are really nice because you can just pump out a bunch of water. They last a really long time. And you know, if you clean them, take care of them, it can be a lifesaver. Uh, and then you got like these straw ones where you can sip it right out of the river. You can screw a bottle on the bottom. You can use the tube as well. All right, number two, you're gonna need a way to cook your food and boil your water. So a little cooking kit is ideal. This is as cheap as you can get. Five, ten dollars at Walmart. Small retail store, big retail store. They usually have these kits. All right, number three. You wanna be able to store your water and bring it with you. Number four, you're gonna want a flint and striker. Lighters only last so long, flint and strikers last way longer. You need to be able to boil your water and cook your food with fire, so flint and striker. You're gonna need a compass to be able to know where you're going, how to get there. So compass, important, very important. Number six, you're probably gonna want some electricity. For communication, electricity is probably a good idea. Whether it's a big thing like this, they make them way bigger or even just a small battery pack the small solar panel i have a solar panel for this just didn't have enough room but uh that might be a good idea having electricity number seven you're gonna want some communication a small cheap radio like this running up 50 bucks a uv 5r that could be really handy in a uh, mad max situation number eight you're gonna need a handy knife it could be a big buck knife in this case is a mossy oak. Real handy to have a nice knife. It's a tool and a weapon. Or you could have a little pocket knife too, or both. That's always good. Number nine, a folding saw is absolutely essential. I picked the folding saw because it's compact. This is a silky big boy, as they call it. And uh, you can use two hands, one hand. It's made in a way where sawing is so fast. Nice clean cut forward. All the all the cuttings on the way back you just there's no fetch going forward and pulling back it just rips shreds these are absolutely amazing you're definitely gonna want one of these or maybe even two a big one and a small one this one here's a husky there's many different brands of these number 10 you're gonna want a hatchet absolutely gonna want a hatchet you're gonna need to split wood you're gonna need to chop stuff down you could have a hatchet or you can have a bigger chopping axe or both but you're definitely gonna want an axe that is absolutely something you're gonna want. So number 11, obviously gonna need a backpack to put all this stuff in. And you're probably gonna want uh, the YK zippers, something durable, something that you can put a blanket or a tent. You know, you just want, you really, you want a good tactical mole style backpack. You want a good solid backpack. And for number 12, you're gonna need something to hunt with. So in this case, it could be a compound bow, a crossbow, a recurve bow. It could be a gun, but it's not really reliable because bullets are very heavy and they run out. Where with, with a bow of any sort, you can reuse arrows and you can make your own arrows. You can make your own string. You can make your own limbs. I mean, if this crossbow, if the limb breaks, I can make a limb out of wood. I could make a string, you know, so they're really reliable. So for me, it would be a crossbow, compound bow, or a recurve bow. I'd probably go with the recurve, but uh, you know, it's all preference. Crossbow, crossbow is good for hunting. It's kind of like having a shitty gun, you know? So there you go, 12 things that you might want to consider to have in your ready to go survival kit. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this, and I hope this really does help somebody somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing they don't know what to look for they don't know where to start this is just 12 simple things that you might want to have in your kit in a mad max shit hits the fan situation where you just have it and you'll be out, you'll feel secure if you have these things all right this is survival camp peace out y'all